supposedly just got shot up last week or something like that. Let's go have some fun. All right, we're here back in Maryland to see what this BK store is all about. Apparently like a meat shop is attached to it or something. So rules and regulation on USDA is on that, but we're gonna check it out guys and see what they have. I heard it's a great store. All right, we're here at BK Liquors and they have all the normal stuff that you typically see, but it's, it's a freaking butcher shop back there. Like, what in the world? Maryland's so freaking funky. Connor, you see anything interesting? Uh, the low prices on these Redwoods right here. How much? $29.97. Oh my goodness, hold on. $29.97. Dude, you can't get any better than that. They even got Evan Hill Ball and Bond down here for $49.99. Knob Creek 12 for $69.99. Freaking awesome. I mean, a lot of these are just solid prices all around. Really good price here for this bottle. This is probably one of the better bottles I have from Bardstown. I just got the Disco 11 at the other store, so excited to try that. If y'all like this kind of stuff, this single malt right here, American single malt, we stopped here on the way up. Really, really good. All these new ribs, man, look at this price. I mean, these are It's a basketball. Oh, dude, what? Should I dribble it? <laughs> <laughs> is it cognac or is it whiskey? I don't know. Springfield, Connor, it's literally textured with the basketball texture on top. That's pretty like, cool. It feels like a basketball. Hmm. What in the world? I can't tell what this is. Oh, bourbon. Cool. Hall of Champions Collection. How about that? Interesting. Some of the other stuff. These old Ezra's are really good. And then they even have the straight rye. Let's go take a look at their single barrel selection. Here's their single barrel selections that they have. We got three Maker's Mark picks, Heaven Store, Old Scout, Woodenville, and the rest of the stuff here. Jack Daniels. Is this the jackfruit? Uh, I should have bought that jackfruit. After I did that video with the army men on top, sold out. Y'all are awesome. Thank you so much for going and supporting local sports. It's trying to age it. It's trying to age it a little bit? I, want, I asked him to hold it, see if he could age it to six years for me. Six year MGP and the new stuff is Old Scouts Distillate that you got coming now. Perfect. Great. Excited. We'll get this too. Thank you, sir. All right. Got all the normal stuff. You'll see a video about Lux Row here in a little bit. That's, uh, that's unfortunate that I that I did that. If you haven't seen it, Southern Spirits, I, I goofed up there big time. A124, oh, that's the new one. I missed C923, I guess. And then all the other stuff. Disco 11 for 129 Got a really good price down the road. For that bottle, actually. That's an incredible price on the Maker's Cast Strength. This is the uh, 04. It's pretty cool. It's a, it's a pretty cool store, huh? Yeah. No, it's huge. Yeah, I mean, it's absolutely gigantic. Really cool. We got y'all some shirts. You want to find out? Oh, perfect. Extra large, right? Yes, sir. Meats and liquor. I love that. I like that. I wear that everywhere. Oh, oh no cool. Oh, dude. Got to drink out of yeah. these tonight. Yeah, thank you, sir. I forgot you. Oh, that's so kind of you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin took good care of us, took good care of us. I, I thought northern people were rude. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on here? Right, so so. Perfect. Starts, I like that. The party starts here. I like that. <laughs> nice. And look who's got a box. <laughs> All right. So, like I said, I thought people up north were a little bit more uh, standoffish. But every time I've walked into the store today, Super nice people. Big shout out to BK. Yeah, for sure. Heck yeah, freaking kings over here, man. Check them out big time, awesome people. Great store picks too. Stopped in Maryland and now we're going to Washington DC. I'm like a fish out of water here, I'll tell you what. I, I don't know anything about this traffic, but apparently it's in a rough part of town. I'll tell you what's really upsetting me so far is the amount of litter on the side of the road. It's something I've never seen before. It's it's, it's honestly impressive, <laughs> the amount of garbage on the side of these roads, but we're going to go check out Lax Liquor. Supposedly just got shot up um, last week, two weeks ago or something like that. So uh, let's go have some fun, see what they have. Hey, 
Hey, look, uh, maybe this isn't a, a good idea, you know? Oh, dude. 50 bucks for a half gallon of buffalo trice. It's not bad. American. Knob 18 for 199. Uh, Sagamore down there at the very end, the sherry finish. $59 for the redwood? Not a bad deal. That's not a bad deal at all, actually. What else did you see? $59 for Larceny Barrel Proof down there. Right there. I'm gonna have to buy a John J. Bowman. I don't think I'll ever get it cheaper. $54. It's a freaking killer price, dude. Orphan Barrels. Hot West. Sagamores. <laughs> like, you got the... You got Buffalo Trace Kosher here. The wheat and the rye for 159. That's that's a pretty steep markup. But then, I mean, the rest of the stuff here is rather reasonable, you know? Yeah. They even got a whole section of Thomas Moore over there. Got a whole section of Thomas Moore and everything, man. Oh yeah. Carter. Hmm. Weller single barrel down there on the bottom. Oh wow. Yeah. I might get that. I don't know how much it is. Well, there's single barrel hiding down there of Blanton's and John J. Bowman, Buffalo Trace, all this stuff. Look, you even got the Elijah Craig right there. Dude, okay, how much is that? That's the question. How much is that? We need to know. How's it going? Um, how much is that Weller single barrel down there? $4.99. Four ninety nine. Okay. What about that Van Winkle behind you, the rye? $7.99 and $14. Okay. What about the 12? I'm just asking. 12 is $7.99. Okay. Oh, like $14. Okay. Can I get two of those John J. Bowman single barrels, please? Yes, sir. That'll do. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. I wasn't paying $4.99 for that. $4.99 for well, the single barrel, and then you got like $1,400 for the lot B. Yeah. And then, what do you say, $1,100 for the Some, Something was $1,700. $1,700? Yeah, it's all right. Well, guys, that concludes the uh, Washington, D.C. hunting trip. That was interesting to say the least there wasn't much footage there it was really really busy and it's in a bad part of town but we got two john j bowman's for 55 dollars each honestly that's really a good deal so bro i got john j bowman yeah you got one hey yeah. we're rolling out of washington right now heading back down towards the good old state of virginia thank you so much for watching we found some cool stuff john j bowman Blanton's Eagle Rare. I mean, awesome, awesome bourbon hunting here in the upper part of the United States. Thank you so much for watching. If you care to support the channel, check out the Patreon. Check out the Discord. We've got lots of cool things going on over there, guys. Until next time, Bourbon Hunter out. I did. I just made the law of I'm not listening to the R. But if you do email them, if you do call them, or you can mess with the sweet wheat back there. Yeah, yeah, that's you'll tell me where they have sweet wheat. Definitely good to know. So, I mean, I've been glad to submit to that.